Hi everyone, long time no see. <laughs> it's been a little while since I filmed the video. Um, there's no excuse really, it's just one of these things that kind of fell by the wayside, but I really do want to get back into it, so here I am. So I'm gonna start today with uh, basically getting ready. Um, I'll be doing my makeup for the first time in about eight months because obviously with lockdown I've just not been bothering at all. Um, I've just been working from home so there's been kind of no need to, to put makeup on. Funnily enough though I've been totally into buying makeup, I don't know why, I've been quite obsessed with buying makeup, it's all the new stuff and I'm not even putting it on my face so that's why I wanted to actually um, do this today. So. I'm going to be trying out a few new products, um, some things I've tried only once or twice before that I've had for a while though, and just basically put the makeup on my face. So let's get started. So first of all I'm just going to put some hydration on my lips. So I've got this Lana Lips Lip Water and this is a recommendation from Shelby Wilson on YouTube. So I got this from ASOS, um, it's the only place I'd find it in the UK or Scotland at least. So it just says it's a lip hydration fluid and it's hydrating but holographic, it's got a holographic glow. <laughs> um, Apply to lips as needed, that's the directions. So I've used this once or twice and I do like it but I, I find that the only thing is if I have it on for too long it does start to create the white lines on my lips which I really don't like. It's fine for a short periods of time um, so that's what I'm going to put on just for this whilst I'm doing my makeup. So you can see it is really beautiful and it smells quite minty. I'm not too keen on the brush applicator but again it's not a deal breaker or anything. But it has got the holograph, oh my god I can't say that word, holographic shimmers in it so it is nice if you're putting this on and it's just a little bit of something, something extra. So yeah I'm not a primer person even though I have a few in my collection but one that really intrigued me and I was trying to get a hold of for ages is this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. So it's a dupe primer and I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip. So like I say I'm not one for primers anyway but I would like to try ones that um, grip onto my foundation if I'm going to be wearing foundation because I just it just appeals to me the thought of it gripping on. So it looks like this, it comes in a and a squeezy tube but it has got a pump here and yeah this was I think it was limited edition so it's just been sold out everywhere like it it was like you know here and it was gone and the only reason I managed to get this was because it came up in a skincare set from elf website so I got that along with the other stuff and I really do like the other stuff as well as in moisturizers and things but yeah I have actually tried this once before when I did try and film a video before and quality wasn't good so I, I decided not to keep it up. Anyway, so I've tried this once and it was fine. I don't really remember. I didn't have it on for long enough to know if I liked it that much so I'm going to try again. That was a long explanation. <laughs> so it looks like this. That was about a pump and a half. It might be too much actually. So my face is clean and moisturised. My hands are clean. And this one smells of watermelon, I meant to say, so it actually does, it's really, it smells quite sweet. And it's one of these ones I thought it would be really sticky to the touch because it is meant to grip onto your foundation, but it's not that sticky on my hands. In fact, it's it's quite slippy, so I, I, I like that. Um, yeah, I've been wearing makeup these days. Um, the only reason I made makeup on today is because I'm going out for dinner with my boyfriend's parents. Um, it's fine where we are in lockdown, I'm in Scotland um, and where I am it's you're allowed basically to, to go to a restaurant with one of their family so that's what we're doing and I thought it would be a good opportunity to put some makeup on my face. So that has definitely created a tacky base, I can feel that, can you hear that? <laughs> so yeah that seems like it'll be good and grippy for, for foundation not primer. Um, I'm gonna try this Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay. I've had this for so long, maybe about a year and I've only used it once. Again, because it's been locked down for the past eight months, I've just not been bothering. Um, but I remember liking this, but I wasn't sure if it had broken me out before. So I wanted to give it another go um, and see if it was that or if it was just, you know, the usual. Um, this one is really nice. It's, it doesn't feel like it's much, it's like a plastic bottle, so it's, it's really lightweight and the foundation itself is a lightweight formula. But I do remember liking it on the skin. And this one is in the shade 
20 nn i do remember i was matched to this i've never been matched in my life but um i did go in and get matched to the shade that might have been too much we'll see so like i was saying it just depends on if the primer is going to kind of play well with other foundations it all depends on the formula and even how your skin is what skincare products you use and that's why i'm not really too fussed about primers anyway but that one did intrigue me to see if it's gonna work so this foundation is really lightweight like i remembered it's not covering completely because i've got blemishes and redness and all the usual fun stuff but it's not looking good on my nose pores here with that primer and again it could be the foundation itself could be a combination but it's not looking great there so just recently did a color pop order which i've not done since that video I did about four years ago on my channel as well only the only second time ordering and um, but i wanted to try the so jaded palette so i got that and a few other things which i might show you in another video but one of the things I got is a Super Shock shadow in the shade Bill. It's kind of a random name, but I have swatched it. I'm not using my eyes, so you can see it is a nice, kind of a taupey, lilac-y colour. Definitely leaning more on the purple side. And I do remember that these are ones that you just have to use with a finger. They seem to work best that way. They're very soft. Hmm. I feel like that's not really got a lot of pigmentation. And it's quite put I don't know if it used to be this putty like. Okay, look. <laughs> I've already hit pan. <laughs> First time using it. So obviously with the consistency it's very malleable, so it's easy to move around, but that looks like I've really made a dent in it. <laughs> Maybe isn't the best shade because my eyes are quite naturally pink anyway, but I'm just going to use it as a base colour anyway. Actually, I think I'm going to put some under eye concealer on. Um, they're looking a little bit dark and pink. This is something I actually don't do that much. I'm I'm just not too fussed about covering up my, my darkness because I find that everything I use tends to kind of crease and cake and it doesn't look great. So I'd rather just have the darkness as opposed to the cakiness. But because I'm putting on makeup and going for it and I've got a new uh, product to use. So this is the Revolution Pro Under Eye Primer Illuminate. This is probably going to be one of these products that I try once and never try again because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my makeup and all these extra steps like that. I'm just like, no, am I ever actually going to do it? But we'll see. Okay, so it looks like this. That's probably plenty for both eyes. Okay, yeah, I definitely think that it's illuminated, but obviously it's just illuminating the purpleness in my under eyes. But it is a primer, so I'm, you know, I'm going to put concealer on top of it and see if it does work and make it stay a little bit better. So I also got the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Uh, this one is in the shade Fair 10N, so I don't know. It's it's very pale, so I'm assuming it will match me. I'm just gonna. Maybe try the, the Robert Welsh way and <laughs> just put, match up, but put just tiny dots because most of the time you don't need as much as you think. Okay, that is very sheer. Um, first time using this concealer, this is the thing with first impressions obviously. It could be that the products don't play well with one another you're just not using it right but that seems very very sheer so i'm gonna add a bit more quite a lot more much too much <laughs> uh oh okay off concealer sponge which i've never actually used this is just dry but it's a good shape yeah i like that for getting in at the inner corner and things 
definitely think that has made a difference actually. Um, it might be with the primer and the concealer in both, but I quite like that. So yeah, I think you can see, hopefully, that that has made a noticeable difference in the brightness of my under eyes. Might be a combination of both because it's got the hyaluronic acid, which is obviously moisturising, and the illuminating primer, but if that stays, I quite like that. Something I've been wanting to try for so long is the number 7 Airbrush Away Translucent Finishing Powder because I've heard this is a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is brand new, never been used, but I've heard that it's just really finely milled and really nice. I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury one, so, you know, it's very expensive. I would like it if I got it for a gift, I wouldn't be complaining about it, but... I just feel a little bit like, do I need to spend that much on a powder? No. This wasn't cheap either though. It was about 10, 12 pounds, I think, because number seven always is a bit like, more expensive. But I really do want to try it. This is just a Real Technique setting brush. I mean, it's hard to say, like, it's fine. Um, I feel like it is a little bit crepey under there though now. It's definitely taken away the shine and the illumination that I had, so I want to test out a little bit further. And the thing with this packaging as well is, oh, look how filthy it is already. And I'm not one for primers and I'm also not one for like setting space or anything, but you know, just buying everything these days. So I got this MUA Makeup Academy Light Luster Shimmer Spray. Um, so this one's called Good Vibes. And it's basically like a setting spray slash uh, shimmer spray, I guess you could say. So it says shake well before use. And this one says it's infused with a floral scent. I'm not really a fan of floral scent, but I'm just going to try it anyway. I think, I think actually I, got, I maybe got this free. I was going to buy it. And then when I did an order, um, was it Beauty Bay? Something, I did an order and it was like a free gift as well. So I thought I might as well try. So you can see it's all been all shaken up now and it's got all the shimmer in it so let's see oh yeah can you see okay that's just kind of wetness on my face as well but I want to see if there's actual shimmer in there I presume there is because it's all in the bottle yeah that's definitely giving me shimmer but it's all right can you see this has already started giving me the white lines I don't think I like it. Just sad, but it's just one of these ones you have to be on top of all the time, and I'm just not for that. This little um, quad from Elf, which is one of their little what are they called bite-sized eyeshadow things. I've got six of them. <laughs> I basically got them all, bar the ones I thought I just didn't really need, like the rosy one. I've got loads of colours like that, but they're only three pounds each, and I've swatched some, and they seem really nice. This one I think is my favourite as well, it's called Carnival Candy and I'm going to start with the cream shade here and put this all over the lid. So these are pigmented but um, there's a bit of fallout which doesn't bother me actually um, as long as it doesn't go everywhere but it, yeah I'm not too fussed about things like that, probably should have done my base after but hey ho. Okay, so I'm then going to take this really nice warm brown as a transition shade. Kind of burgundy colour here. I do like this one because it's got your neutrals but it's also got the pops of colour. So it's good for if you're travelling and you want a few different things. You can see that it's definitely got some fallout there but I'll clean that up. So I'm just putting that on the outer V. Warm browns, camely colour on my lower lash line. Ooh, that's nice. That's very pigmented. Ooh, I like that. A little bit messy, but again, don't worry, I can clean it up. And then what I'm gonna do is take the the blue in the palette which is beautiful it's kind of it's got a sheen it's it's not glitter but it's just for a pop of color i also got this elf glitter uh eyeliner no glitter shadow i got six of them in fact but this one's in the shade flirty birdie 
and it's supposed to be like a dupe of the Stila one. I have got the Stila one and it's beautiful but I think this is a little bit more copper brown toned whereas the Stila is more like silvery cream but it's beautiful. Not all of these have been great like the darker ones I find don't have that much pigment and they're, yeah they're a bit sheer but this one this one's beautiful. First of all, I'm going to take my Revolution Soap Styler. Again, I've had this for a while, but I've only used it a few times, but I do find it really good. It's just soap in a box. Just put a little bit of that spray in it to um, obviously make it a little bit more workable. I love soap brows. My brows got so thick during lockdown and then I plucked them and then I was like, oh no, I went too thin. But it's okay because if you, like, even doing that makes them look thicker already. I'm going to let that dry just for a wee minute because it is qu quite tacky before I put other product on. So I'm going to go to the face and then I'll come back. So I got this, I've not been in Primark obviously for ages, but I did go in um, Bronze Whip Cream Bronzer. It's a Velvet Finish Cream Bronzer and... I don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe of anything, but in a way I kind of thought it reminded me of Huda, Huda Beauty's Tantor, which I've never tried, but just from what I've seen it kind of looks similar. So I'm taking this on a Real Techniques stippling brush. It looks very, very warm. <laughs> Obviously I'm not using it as a contour shader and then it is a, a bronzer. So that requires a lot of blending though because I'm so fair. Do you know what though? I'm not mad at it. I was going to see if I had a smell but I think it's actually the scent, the floral scent from that setting spray. It's a little bit patchy but definitely workable and for whatever it was like £3 from Primark I think that's quite nice. I'm definitely trying to get more into like liquid cream products just to make the skin look nice and natural and dewy and just healthy. I also got this Revolution Baked Bronzer in Holiday Romance, so it looks beautiful. Again, I've not tried this at all. It reminds me of the Hourglass one, which I love. I've got the Holiday palette from a couple of years ago. I did a review on it, in fact. Um, but yeah, it reminded me of that, so I'm hoping it's as nice. There's a little bit of fallout, but again, doesn't really bother me. And I'm using an e.l.f. pointed powder brush. I'm just going to blend that on top. Yeah, it does look patchy, I feel like, here, but I like that product. I do think that's nice. I don't know why I smell of thing. It doesn't really smell of anything. And I got this e.l.f. jelly highlighter. I told you I did a lot of e.l.f. products. Again, this is something that's like I wouldn't normally take the time to do, but because I'm just, it's a Saturday, I'm going out for tea, I'm not working, I've got time, basically. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. I have got the e.l.f. jelly blush and I love that, surprisingly. I didn't think I would, but I really like the, just, I, I like it as a product. I think it's really nice. So I did want to try this, but you actually get loads in here. Wibbly wobbly. I was worried it was going to be a little bit too deep for me and, and maybe have a cast on my face, but I think that is quite nice as well. So I just want to use that as a kind of cream base for something that I got and I never thought I would. It was never, it never appealed to me. And I was shopping on Beauty Bay and I saw that they had a mini of it and I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to try it. Why not? But then when I got it, like, people were like, what is it? Tell me. When I got it, I was like, oh no, it's a little bit too golden for my skin tone. But it is the Ofra Mini Rodeo Drive. So it is beautiful, but it's if I just saw this like in real life, like obviously I know what it's like online and everything, but if I saw this in real life, I would have just said, no, it's too golden. It's too and we'll see. Ooh. Okay, I can see what people are talking about. 
yeah I can definitely see what people are talking about it doesn't pull as um, deep on my skin actually it does look a little bit more silvery even though it's very gold in the pan try this MUA blushed colour in ginger so it's a two in one it's got obviously a pinker shade and then a more more like cranberry shade and I have swatched it's not used it but it did feel a little bit dry so I don't know how much pigment there's going to be but I'm just going to take the same brush and basically like swirl it oh actually and that is more pigmented than I thought it would be based on swatching it it felt dry but actually there is a bit of pigment there I would say got the Illamasqua eyebrow cake in the shade Thunder. Now this is one I think I heard about years ago and it was just never on my radar and then I saw it on Beauty Bay and I thought, do you know what? It was in the sale I think. I just thought I'm just going to try it. It might be a little bit warm because my hair is um, quite ashy um, and it's definitely not as light as it was because I've not had it done for about a year um, because of lockdown but I thought I would give it a go anyway. Oh my goodness, look at that. Also got the soap brows in, so sticking them up. But I really like that microbla microbladed look. Why can't I talk to? Where was it? Yeah, brows. I like. I like that. They feel quite set because obviously they're soap brows and they're set down just now. But I am enjoying that quite a lot. I'm going to put on some ColourPop lip products. So I got the lippy pencil in the shade Shot Clock. Just looks like this. These are nice because they are quite soft. And that um, Lana Lips is again done the same with the white. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that. God, how much I like these actually, the ColourPop lippy sticks. And I got this in the shade Cami and it's a matte X. So all the packaging's the same, it's just got the colour in the bottom. This is just like a, I don't know, um, dark pink I'd say. I feel like the lip balm has made my lips darker anyway, but maybe more of a ready pink actually, but I like that. These are very, even though this is like a matte, matte X one, it's very smooth and creamy and I do remember them lasting quite well. Okay, and then I'm going to take this e.l.f. Fantasy Lip Lacquer. So it looks like this. I like their lip lacquers, they're not that sticky and I thought this one's quite a good dupe for... Or not dupe, but it reminds me of the Jouer uh, skinny something <laughs> lip topper, lip sparkly one, which I've got, but it's been dry for like forever. So yeah, I just thought I would try this. Oh no, I've ruined the doe foot. Okay. Oh. Also from Colourpop, um, I got this freckle pen, which I didn't even know that they made, but I saw it and I thought, yeah, I like freckles, so I've never used it yet. Um, I don't know what shade this was, but it looks like it would be like a, maybe ash brown or blonde. I already like this. It's so much easier. Okay, lastly, I'm going to try these magnetic eyelashes that I got off Amazon. I never normally wear eyelashes because uh, luckily I've got quite long eyelashes anyway, but I've just never been wearing mascara and I, don't, I just thought it'd be quite fun to try. So it looks like this, the box, and it's it's one of the liner and um, eyelashes ones, so that's why I wanted to try it. And you actually get quite a few in here. Um, I'll link it below. If you want to try it, obviously if it's any good, you might not want to try it, but it comes with all these different styles and the two, I think they're just exactly the same, but the two mimetic liners and a little lash applicator as well. Okay, nice and zoomed. So I think, I obviously don't want to go for the really dramatic ones, or I could, but I'm going out for dinner, so I don't want it to be too much. I think, which ones? Um, okay yeah I'm just gonna try the most natural ones which are the top ones up here but I like the quality of these as well they look and feel quite fluttery because you know I don't really want the ones that have well just kind of plastic I'd much rather a fluttery lash if I'm gonna wear them okay the magnetic eyeliner this is interesting so it's a very fine 
see the liquid there. Whenever I've watched videos, I seem to need to do like a bit of a thicker line. Oh no. Oh no. This is way too long. <laughs> I should have uh, checked this before. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna have to trim this, but I'm gonna have to trim it obviously so that the magnets, there's enough magnets to stick all the way across. So I'm gonna trim, I've actually taken off that much off the outside, which is quite a lot. Like I don't have small eyes by any means, so that is definitely there. Like that's two, two pieces of magnet that I've cut off. Where did the lash applicator go? Oh no, oh no. Okay, no seriously, where did it go? Did it... Okay, I've lost the lash, lost the lash, lash down. Five years later, here we go. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, it's definitely sticking. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, obviously I've just got to sort this out. It fit it. Sorry, I'm not even in frame. I think I need to fill it in a little bit. Do you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> I think my, my skills leave much to be desired, but. That's not too bad, actually. They are quite natural. You can still see them there. But I do feel them. I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing lashes though. I don't know if they're any heavier than regular lashes, but I definitely do feel them, but okay. Where did the other eyelash go? <laughs> no. Seriously, dude, it's gone. It's, oh, <laughs> it's on my leg. Oh dear. Thing is, I'm a very organised person, but I drop everything. So obviously dropping something like that, I'm just not going to see it. Oh. I wasn't sure how it would stick onto um, eyeshadow and also glitter, but it seems fine, actually. It doesn't seem to be an issue. Obviously you can like do a little bit of a wing, style this out. Oh no, okay, I'll fix that. Don't worry. Panic not, friends. Okay, fingers. Oh, way too far along. They're easy enough to remove. Oh no. Oh, guys. They're easy enough to remove if you make a mistake. I think maybe this one's still a little bit more wet because I haven't left it as long to dry. Right, apart from the huge mess I just made and I've put them too far over here, I don't think they're half bad. I definitely feel them, like I said though, I don't know if that's because I'm just not used to wearing lashes or if the magnets actually weigh your eyes down, but they're not like, it's not uncomfortable. I just feel like they're a little bit heavy. I'm gonna have to clean this up, but that is not too shabby. See? Not bad. Okay guys, so here's the finished look with a lot of makeup on my face, a lot more than I normally would wear these days, and the magnetic lashes. Like I said, I could definitely improve my own skills, but I don't think they're that bad. Like, um, I'm not liking the foundation with the primer, like I said, it's just not sitting very well on my nose, but it, at least my skin feels dry, because I only powdered under my eyes. Um, I'm loving the... Oh, I forgot about that. But anyway, I'm loving the e.l.f. eyeshadows and the glitter. I think they're very pretty. Um, yeah. I like most of the stuff actually it's just it's not even like the foundation but I think the the combination didn't work but anyway that's it from me but thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed I've enjoyed actually putting makeup on my face again it's been fun interesting um but yeah thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye